Okay, carrying on on this uh, Windows stuff on Linux, windowing, multi-windowing, and figuring out how to properly um, get everything I need in order first. Uh, so that's the XR stuff. What happened? Did I just put the? Yeah, I just put them up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put that down, down to one. Great. And we can carry on from here. So first things first, what exactly am I going to do here? Do I want to maybe put window data in a separate thing and have like this compiled down into a function? That sounds like a good idea. I'm going to do that. Mm. <sighs> yeah, okay, window to HPP. There we go, it's going to go in here instead. Like that, bam. So we're going to have a struct for uh, window data. Since this is just top level stuff, I'm just not even going to put foe or anything in front of it. Uh, it's going to be this stuff for the moment. Yes. Do, 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 do. Grab all that. That becomes window data. This is going to become include. Okay, uh, for frame data, no, frame timer, yes. Goes into that. This also include, takes in faux WSI window. Mm, graphics swap chain. Give me that. And the render target. We have a window. Yeah. Why is this not found? See, that belongs there and there. This is not required. I got rid of that. Frame timer on the window should really be like from the uh, the time, not from the beginning of the frame, but when I get to the progression, not progression, presentation. I don't really have a good handle on exactly when it's presented though. So that's going to require a little bit of work to come back to later. Okay. That. Okay, what I was I was going to do window dot cpp. So I was going to do this. I'm going to have it's before XR camera, but that's a VK. Okay. This is going to be taking in like a window, something or other. It's basically going to be this. Or something. It's going to be like this. And it's going to be like... What's it? It's going to be void, boolean. Do I, do I have an error case for this? I might. Okay, so I do need to return...
something like this. Takes in a window data, star p window, great. And returns standard code, like that. Data. Where is this from? Why, why, why is... What do you mean this file's not found? It just must not be like... Um, yeah, this goes away. So I'll put that down at least. Stake that up. Great. Move that, and it's going to basically become this stuff minus the camera pool. So that's going to be. Okay, we do that every time just for the moment. And then the rest of this kind of goes into here. What's going to happen in here instead though? Instead of iterator that it's going to be always P window that. Okay. All those, and we got to have. We also got to pass in Oh, that's why it didn't break. It's because Oh. Okay. I kept Okay, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put this here and change this to BIT. That's why the cameras didn't change last time. Um, mm -hmm. And then we. That's still that. So we can change that up to two. We've got two windows now. We're going to do two windows. We're going to see the interesting, the intriguing way that the application will break under the current circumstances, which it will break, I know it, but I'm just interested in seeing the results regardless. So come on. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That is something. Huh. Very interesting, cool. Oh, right, wrong window. That's the window. Back down to one. Great. So, and put this back into here. For the moment, put this back up here. This takes in photographic session, which would have been brought in from here. Just, no, this doesn't exist? Okay. Now it does. Uh, we're going to include the error code right now. So this is going to be P window that. Uh, VK results. Okay. 
include memory. an error code. So I need an error code as well. Otherwise you just return error code. the delayed destructor I need to kind of put the sample counts embed them somehow into the surfaces probably mm, or just kind of have it global for everything it really would be on a per window basis can I even do that I mean I should be able to as long as it's within the max I mean, yeah, what if you want to have, like, uh, the XR headset be anti-aliased, but not the reprojection on the screen or something like that for... Yeah, yeah, okay, that does make sense. We do want that. So, window... You want to include these two. Sample count is that okay? Under target spec is okay. Graphics VK render target specific stuff of this the depth form. Okay, I'm going to have to move this away from the window somehow. It really shouldn't be part of this. I should I should have this um, elsewhere when I need it rather than now. But for the moment it's here. We'll put it in. Okay, okay. So what's happening is this is going to be changed to that. Okay, so that really kind of shrinks down what's going on here. Right. So this is the introduction stuff. Then we get into the, like, okay, I want to acquire a new frame. 
if I acquire the new frame, then I'm doing this stuff. I'm going to first of all check XR, which I have, which I'm not doing yet. Then I go through the windows. I perform any window maintenance. Then next, I need to acquire the target presentation images. And not just for this window, I need to do it for all the windows that I can acquire images. Because, and if I actually have something to render, so I do this and then I check like off screen renders for things like shadow maps that need updating or whatever. Do any rendering. And if I get not, if the XR is not ready, windows aren't ready, shadow maps and stuff aren't ready, then I just like skip the frame render, go to the start, and reloop again. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Hmm. So right now, frame data is currently the thing that's managing. Okay, put this up together. Okay, I'm gonna put this in as it is right now because I got a, I got enough stuff going on here. So that 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 surface count. The, all this stuff. I need to put something in before it gets out of hand. I only lost like 40 lines altogether. Hmm. Okay. Initial. Multiple windows. Just sit here and say okay a whole bunch of times while I think things through in my mind. Ah yes, frame data. That's what I was going to go on about. Frame data. Frame data is part of the application as the start, right? It's up here somewhere? No, it's not. Per frame data. Per 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 frame data. Am I there it is. I'm insane. And here it is. Just a couple. Then that's basically it. Yeah, okay. This is still kind of a temporary thing. So, 
the semaphores we have are the present image is acquired and the render is complete. Hmm. This is going to have to change if we have more than one percent image that we need to acquire. Isn't it? Yeah, it's going to have. So what we're going to have to try to do is embed that information elsewhere. So the thing I'm thinking of is it'll be embedded in, with the window information for the moment because that's where the swap chain and stuff is. I could try to embed it in the swap chain. I mean, what's in here? A number of things. Okay. Would I, would this be something that'd be valuable enough to actually put in here? So you can just acquire, so like as well as acquiring, you know, the acquired index, you can acquire the current image, the current, but no, 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 no. Cause then I'm overloading swap chain with too much stuff. I really am, aren't I? It would make more sense to have it kind of together with window information. So you have the attached camera, you'd have the current frame semaphore. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Okay, hold on. Where do I use this? Where do I use this? Um, present image acquired. Because I don't need it at first. I need it when I'm about to submit information. What am I submitting? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I'm using it as the gate for when I do the, the final render pass, right? Or would it be for this final render pass? Where do I start this? Okay, yes, I am using it for the final render pass because technically all of this is part of that, isn't it? It's just all part of the same <laughs> command buffer. Ooh, I can definitely split that up a bit. For now, okay. So, what stages do I, what I want? Like, if I, it, um, hmm. It does depend on that, wouldn't it? Hmm. <laughs> okay, hold on. Am I just using this for everything? No, because I'm I got a different frame buff uh command buffer up here, right? Like I end this command buffer. Yeah, I have a different command buffer here. This is the XR one. And then I have that as a separate one. So I have two different yeah. Hmm. Okay, how do I, uh, I submit this queue and I don't even have any, um, 
stuff on it, do I? Okay, I need to read up on the semaphore. Can it be used for multiple things, or is it just a one-to-one? -one? I think it's one-to-one, -one, but... If I can use it for more than one thing... Okay, semaphore. There's more than one semaphore type now. One, the two, okay. That's interesting. So there's the type binary, which is the basic one. Okay, what's, what is this timeline one? Okay, when... Hmm. Wait, fence? What's going on here with the Windows one then? Okay, whatever. Uh, I want to see if it resets after I'm I've I've gotten the semaphore. What the hell is this? Another semaphore type. Okay. Okay. The act of waiting for binary semaphore also unsignals that semaphore. <sighs> Applications must ensure that between two such wait operations, the semaphore is signaled again with execution dependencies. Binary semaphore waits and signals thus should occur in one discrete one-to-one -one pairs. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So, maybe 1.2's timeline semaphore does something that useful but realistically right now I should be doing one to one so how do I get these to signal together nicely because this could just fight this could just ha take forever and stop and there would be no dependencies on anything right or hold on with the copy image Is there like a, am I waiting on an image or something or what? Okay, acquire image. I literally just acquire the image straight up. I don't actually.
I'm sorry. What does this do? Nothing. It does nothing. Okay. Uh, sure. Goodbye. Just never used. Uh, require a swap chain image. We just wait on swap chain image. What? Wait info. Okay. So rather than having like a, I know I'm I'm just basically going all over this all over again. Rather than have having like a semaphore I can work with, I just literally just have to wait on it. You must first wait on the image to avoid writing to it before the compositor is finished reading from it. It will implicitly wait on the oldest acquired swap chain image, which is not yet successfully waited on. It must be released before waiting on the next acquired. Yeah, okay. This function may block for longer than the timeout specified in this due to scheduling contention. There's a timeout and stuff. Damn it. For this, I would actually have to wait on the image. That's going to be terrible. But I can at least put this towards the end of, like, after I've made all the render, I've acquired the images, I can make all the render calls. Okay. I can actually put this at the end. I really can. I really can. But just before I actually queue all this stuff to be written. I can put this here instead. Before rendering to it. Hmm. Okay, but at any point right now, this is not what I really wanted to do. What I wanted to do was um, right the percent image required stuff. I need to I need to create some kind of uh, I need to figure out precisely how I'm going to be putting these things together. So if I have multiple presentation images, okay. No, 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 that could make, that could work, that could work. What I have to do is I put the semaphore with the windows, and then at the end, just before I put all these command buffers together, I put them all together here, I wait on them all, and then I still have the frame data render complete. Sorry, not this one. The frame complete uh, semaphore. The render complete, what the render complete is going to be used for is... I'm going to be rendering to the off-screen buffer. Then I hit render complete. I signal that. Then I have another command buffer which is used to transcribe that stuff over. So like it would end. So the first buffer, the off-screen buffer would end here at VK render pass and render pass. That I would send that to the buffer and I then I would put on to the signal set render complete. Then I would wait for the acquired images to then run the these where I would you know copy that off screen onto the swap chain image and then I use these will be like individuals probably mm, yeah I 
uh, I am GUI on one of them. Then I would end it. Then I would kind of wait on that. There would no be no signal because that'd be the end of the, everything. And then I have the frame complete fence. Okay. Plan. Garbage plan, but a plan. Here we go. Image. Uh, okay, no, handle that, okay? Would I be creating and destroying semaphores or would I just keep a semaphore the whole time for each of the swap images? Depending on, oh, that's true, isn't it? So it would actually make a fair bit of sense to actually have it inside of here. It really would. So they would match like the number of swap images we actually have. Okay, I'm going to do that. That actually does make a bit more sense. So I'm putting it in here. Present image acquiring, present data, swap chain, index. Present data. I'm not sure if I would actually put that as part of the present data yet. But rather than having it there, I just acquire the image. I don't. Yeah, and it'd be local. It, I wouldn't be passing one in. I just have one internally. creating the set the, this so every time we create a new swap chain we get a new set of semaphores okay that I can live with destroy image views create swap chain create swap chain views create semaphores if If we fail to create, okay, yeah, if we fail to create. Destroy based on device and return res, okay. Semaphores, that's a new internal function, is it? Yeah. Man, I really don't like my old code. 
true. It's nowhere near as good. I can't do this. Because I don't know what image I'm about to acquire. Um, it could be any of them, realistically. It could be out of order. One, two, three. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, that... Okay, no, 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 I can still, rec I can still do this. If you have a valid thing, it'll be that. Otherwise, it'll be... No, perhaps. Because it would match with the actual acquirable images. So it'd be fine here. Doesn't have to match with that. Yes, yes, yes. This could work. This can work. Okay, create semaphores. We got that. We we're gonna have put it down here just after this. This equals whatever dot reserve because we're creating a new one every time so we just reserve a number we're going to reserve however many we've created so how it I mean images dot size Can we reacquire the same image? That's actually a thing I need to figure out. Um, ooh, come on. Okay, no, it'll still only grab one at a time. So it won't, okay, it won't reuse it. So I can still live with that. So we can go through, so VK sum of four create info. Uh, 
Press type. Is there really anything else for VK create semaphore? P next flags. There's no flags. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's literally just that. Uh, it's going to be m images dot size times vk null handle. Or and iterator of m semaphores. Okay, we got it. We got it. Get out of here. VK creates Sema4. Let device. We got and Sema4 CI. Got nothing here. And then we got an and iterator that. So we create a bunch of semaphores. If we fail, then we have we're going to go through them up here. If be safe. Semaphore greater equals plus one if and current semaphore is greater than or equal to and semaphores dot end and new semaphore iterator equals Some 
semaphores.begin. Actually, that's another thing as well. Uh, we want, when we're creating semaphores, we want this, or, uh, whoops. And semaphores.begin. If we find it, then we advance it. Okay. And then we need that extra function at the end for it's not quite here, it'll be here. Okay, that then brings us back into application because we're gonna have this point. We're not gonna have this anymore instead. That's going away. This is going away from frame data. Because this is only one, right? Yeah. So it's going to be not quite going to be that. Um, that All right, let's see how this breaks. I have validation stuff on, so let's go. Ah, perfect. Breaks real fast. Couldn't find objects that. This should not happen to me, indicate a bug. Okay. So what happened? I'm creating semaphores, right? I go down here, I see this, I'm all very happy. This semaphores, they're all null. Go through, we're creating that, right? Create a second one, right? Yep. Create a third one. Okay, we're great. Current set before is that one, right? Yes. Hmm. Okay, we'll go, yeah. Yeah. Something, something swap chain in here. This is where it's going wrong in here somehow. News, okay.
Keep going. Okay. Whoa, what? VK acquire next image Kronos. Must be valid VK seven four handle. How is this not a Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Am I missing something in like the equals operator? I don't even, it's not manually specified by me, so. What? me very intrigued mm -hmm. interesting what on earth are you pointing at seriously what what happened uh okay okay Okay, points at nothing. Great. That's great. It's still great. It's still it's still pointing at nothing, right? What the? I'm sorry, where did we just go? What kind of a jump was that? Okay, um... When I'm doing the swap chain equals, which will be in here, here. What's going on exactly? What, what do I have on the new swap chain and the old swap chain right now? Okay, we're, we're, we're here now. New swap chain has a current set before of that. And P window swap chain has a semaphore, semaphore going to nowhere. Next, that is correct. That's great. That's precisely what I was hoping for. So we go down here. Now we're going to acquire the image. I'm going to go inside. We're here. This has a completely different semaphore. What is going on? Where are you getting what? Okay, are my semaphores even correct? Yes, they are. going on uh, don't I because the iterator is still pointing at the beginning of the of the vector where it was in the last object okay default operator is equal you got me again well, it's been a long time since it got me. All right, how do I deal with this? Can I do some... In the name of making things easier, that make things less... Oh, 
I'm relying on implicit behavior when I really should be like not obviously. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't want to add more if I can't really help it. Okay, what if I was to do the standard move? I'm interested. What would happen? Tell me what would happen. This has the current sum of four. That's because of this, because the vectors have been moved over as well. They haven't been copy moved or anything like that. So that would work. I mean, it's not a great work, but it works until it doesn't. Now we have another semaphore object that cannot be found. This should not happen to me. Indicate a bug in the application. Okay, this didn't work very long at all. Seventy four D, is that a real semaphore? Yes. Sixty seven, yes. Forty one is not. Oh. Okay, here we go again. Up to nearly half a millisecond of frame. Hmm. It's not like I have. No, I don't. Okay, well, at least I've got this done right now. Changed up uh, image so far. Okay, another uh, thing is piece of the whatever is done. Okay, if that's the case, we are now at the point where we 
we can kind of go through this in a for loop rather than what we're doing right now. And how would we do this? We'd have, let's say, or something like that. It'll be the same size as window data dot size. I'm gonna go through all these. We're going to acquire all the windows. We're not going to skip frame render here. That's fine if this one's not ready. So we say window list dot place that and iterator. I was going to do the same thing if we're doing that. Get rid of that, get rid of that, okay. If this is empty, then go to skip. What's it called? Skip frame render. Okay. because we have nothing to render right now. Uh, I am skipping frames, right? I'm hoping I'm skipping a lot of frames. Nope, not skipping any, amazingly. Or maybe that's just because... Hmm. Why not? I mean, is it because it's tied to the upper frame? So technically, yeah. If I say like else here. Am I still skip? I'm skipping a lot of frames at that point. Oh, but this would give me an excellent opportunity to test. Like if I have, let's say more bufferable frames than actual swap images. Will I? I'm not even doing that. 
I'm not skipping anything. I'm actually like slowed down by this. Maybe. Come on, sometime. Okay, if I have a massive like this, Even still, no. Hmm. Okay, if I have more f bufferable frames than actual swap images, what happens then? So right now I have this, and I say that times three, let's say. I have way more frames than no, because I'm still Okay, well, I've got different problems now. VK reset descriptor pool, required parameter for descriptor pool, specified as VK null handle. Interesting. <sighs> okay. Okay. Where did you have a problem? Sorry. Oh, right. It's this instead. Okay. Uh, with that, let's uh, see how we break it now. Okay. Nice and early. So we've got this. Frame index three. All right, that's what's going on, isn't it? I am s creating descriptor pools. How many? How many? How many am I making? I'm making whatever the uh, buffer is, right? That's what's going on here. Yeah. This is the problem with trying to use arrays. Hmm. And uh, it's going to be the same everywhere, isn't it? There, it's going to be render state somewhere VK animation. Here we go. Same thing will be here. Position. You are the one now. Uh, 
Okay, uh, new plan. Wherever the hell this is declared, I'm going to be doing that. So that's going to be time nine. That's going to be nine bufferable frames. Hmm? Makes sense? Cool. Let's go. Now. When I create the swap chain, which would actually be down in that new windows how many do i create or how many images do i create on the surface like how many what's what's the count that i use okay 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 and come on create swap chain here we go i am doing three okay Let's go. Hmm. I'm literally locked at this. Point four to point five milliseconds. And how fast was this one? Um, actually, that didn't even work, did it? Stop it. I don't see how what I'm I've done can nearly increase it from like point three to point five milliseconds. Okay. This isn't the branch I was looking for. Okay, well... At least I know it's not going to break if I have completely different sets of uh, sizes of this. Although I really was honestly expecting it would at least skip something, sometimes. Unless... I'm just not... No, but I am, right? By default... Uh, foe will do all. Log? No. Okay, I don't have one here. I have one here, right? Yeah, I have everything.
Okay, what if I bring it down to one? There's one frame. It will I at least start skipping. Then? Surely I must. Okay, now we're starting to skip stuff. And it's down to 0.8 milliseconds a frame. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Now let's bring that back up to that and then we instead set the swap chain image count down to one. Okay, good good job. You you're starting to miss stuff. Uh count of one. We'll then start skipping on two. No, it's just reusing that one image real fast. Okay. Reset. Reset. And... No, this is manual. Get rid of that. Scrap this. This does work though, so that's good. Okay, one thing I do want to actually scrap now will be the triangle. Do I need the triangle? I don't think I need the triangle. That'll save me a bit of stuff if I can find it. Okay, this is the XR section. Can scrap that. Okay, actually, there was a real problem there, apparently. It's set not bound. Why? Let me guess, it's because I didn't set the camera, right? No, actually, I did. I Everything is set. Okay, let's go through and find out what exactly is not being bound. I don't care about the pipeline, it should be done in the render call. This part, this part, not this part, okay, next, the position, no, the position is definitely set, come on. It's the 
can it is the camera. It's gonna be that. It's gonna be just that. I guarantee it. We're going to pass that back into this thing. Sorry, not here. Uh, camera descriptor. Mm -hmm. No, not this one, this one. We've got that found. Where is it? Not here. Up here somewhere. Camera. Do, 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 do. Once we get all this, there we go. We've got the pipeline. Let me set that. Then we can set this, just scrap this entire thing, right? And that. And these. It was with the skip XR draw. It just goes to here. Even though I don't think I even I do use it in other two locations, but those were inside of here. So there, that this basically disappears into nothingness. If I enable a couple lighthouses, let me set up the, the headset. Hmm. All right. I need a command buffer. Okay. I need to move around command buffers as well. Because what I want to do is I want to put this in a giant four loop, four auto and, you know, each of the iterator of, you know, um, window list, window render list. And I want to just render the exact same thing to each window and have them like independent. Same scene, just independent. Which means I need more than one command buffer. Mm. Which means for the moment I'm going to would I though? Actually no 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 
maybe no okay what I'm going to do is this we get to the render off screen section that takes us all the way back down to here there's a presentation point right there I guess we get all of this almost we don't want to submit this all right get it to about here then we get that okay command buffer we need to collect the command buffer first so we do that here and okay we need to also start the command buffer outside of here so we do this we acquire the render target for this so we need to go ahead and replace this with iterator that 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 Uh nope 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 back up back up back up back back. It becomes iterator dot iterator pointer right? Yeah. Play this a bunch more times. We'll just kind of put them both on the same command buffer for the moment. Uh, render pass begin yes. Not quite for this. Mm. This is like if okay, I need to kind of do a special case if it's the first one only. If that, then down here we need to do like the, the list of semaphores. We also need multiple image acquired semaphores. semaphore so we need this dot size that data this needs to be static casted uh, 32 okay That's great and all, man. We gotta go down to here. Oh, so what do I got? Image indices. Mm, yeah, okay. Sorry, what is the P results about? Come on. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I wanted to go next. Okay, uh, P results. What's this about? Pointer to an array of VK result typed elements with swap chain count entries. Okay. So I need to go through for auto. Can I please spell window correctly? One of these times. Okay, we need to go iterator of that. For each of the swap chains we added. Size, data, swap chain indices is that. Get that. Back to application. Let's first of all make sure single image works. Uh, crap, 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 crap. I don't have XR on right now. Uh, okay, whatever that was. Okay. Two windows. Ah, perfect. It went very wrong very quickly. So begin the command buffer here. That's the same. And I'm going through this. That's the off-screen one, yeah. Uh, this is XR again. Okay, well, what, let's see where this is happening. Because I'm pretty sure window data is just not down here at all. It's all the way up here. Okay, create swap chain chronos. Okay, yeah, we understand that one. Q submit. P wait. Dis oh, okay. Uh, this has to match with these. So. Okay, we'll just kind of make them match.
crap, what is it? Pipeline stage flags. You must call before this call left the Cape. I don't understand. Unless it got really screwed up because of this, which is possible. But then on the next call through, it failed horribly. No, 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 no. It's just we got real big problems here. So going back to one, right? Going back to one, that's fine. One is fine. Okay, doing two, doing multiple. What, at what point does this screw up? Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Does this happen on the first round? No, it'll be on the second round, okay. You must call begin before this call to that. Must be in the recording state. Wait, hold on. Do I accidentally end it before I should have? I may have. Is it based on this one? Ooh. Okay, yeah. Right, it's stuck on the yellow. That yellow one. That's the that's the, that's the range I want here. Okay. Okay, 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 that's cool and all, but if we increase the size of this one separately to that one, yes, whoops, move. This is the only one that actually accepts input, but it does allow, yes, multi-window, multi-window drifting, okay. Okay, what was the uh, thing? This swap chain unsupported queue. <clears throat> okay, I need to go back and I need to fix that up for sure. But for now, I'm going to put this in um, as is. So this has been changed. So reorganize this. Rendering the same multiple this is now doable. Oh, from 
most. Is a more advanced, fuck, more advanced and informed thing work ahead. Because I can probably, if I can figure out how to kind of manage these, it'd be much easier to be able to like split and replicate, especially between window and XR. But like, because what I need in order to render to the windows is the same as if I would have to render to multiple render targets. I mean, this kind of, detaches when you know the rendering this rendering from and the acquisition of images and stuff from a specific single window which took me like four hours five hours now probably total but it spending five hours now is a lot less than it would be in the future if i get if i build even more on the assumptions of a single window okay We got that. Now for the unsupported thing. I need to go back into graphics. I need to figure that crap out. This. One thing will be it'll be supporting Windows, supports Windows. Because we're interested in all the Windows available right now. Currently it's VK false. What if So we're going by physical device. That's true. We want to, okay, we, what we're going to do is we're going to set this. So we'll have a VK bool 32 result. Equals VK true. And we'll say something like support windows equals results. And what we're going to do is inside of here, we're going to go through each Q index, and then we've got to go through. Hmm, no, maybe, maybe a bit different. We'll put this in here. Or.
Dang, I can't even think of anything right now. Okay. What if we have... We have to go through. We need to make sure that the physical device is compatible for all the surfaces. So we got to go through VK. Um, If or hmm. I need to go through each surface. What I want is I just want any one of these to work on this physical device in order to set this to be true, wouldn't it? This does, though, this can actually work. Um, every time we run through, equals that. We put this in. Okay, hold on. This is per on a per single basis, right? Single supported, yeah. So we go surfaces J, put this in and they're like usable. If we find a true, it's usable, then we break. Then we know that this surface is good for that. And what I want, I have, okay. This doesn't matter. And what I want to make sure is that this, okay. Starts at zero. We increment this as we go. And if supported surfaces equals surface count, then we put um, supports windows i equals bk true. That, to my mind, should work. But let's see, uh, especially since I apparently don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Yeah, um, sports windows. Uh, 
doesn't matter. Put that back. Solve the debug, restart it. Great. Over here, there's only one surface. That's not correct. There should be two. We got two surfaces. Great. Support surfaces equals zero. Don't know why I went all the way crazy there. Oh, the uh, threads. Okay. Supported surfaces is one. Do the second one. Okay, we got something else, but that may have just been because I'm running this. Nope, I'm just completely broken elsewhere. Great, physical device of zero, zero. Why? What? So I just did not give a physical device at all. Is that? Okay, I'm inside of here. I don't have a physical device. Mm hmm, that was terrible. Uh, failed to find physical device to fit any requirements. right around here somewhere yeah that that's going to be the thing we're returning include error code adding that to here Okay. 
So let's go into here and find out exactly why none of these actually worked, shall we? So what have we got going on here? So this should go like one and then two. Wait, so it didn't even meet two? Is that the thing? What, what's, wait. So it increased the one, okay. Oh, no. We're going through two surfaces, right? There's two surfaces, great. Start at zero. We go through. We found one. We're going back. We should be able to find a second one. I did not find a second one. That is okay. First one, fine. Going back through. But now on surface count one, going through all the queues, of which there are two queues, I guess. So this first one, physical device zero, queue index of zero, surface two, or oh, yeah, usable is, what is VK true? We increment that. So it becomes one. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, hold on. <clears throat> Wrong scope. Should be down there. Get rid of the break, really. Actually, no. Yeah, we, we do want to break that out of that one. So we go back to the next surface. Okay. There we go. Go back to here. Make sure other than the bizarre uh, memory leak from some other, other library, otherwise things are good, right?
no, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, I got a whole bunch of stuff still going on crazy. What's with this extra stuff? Where is this coming from? I understand these two, but where is the rest of this stuff? XCB, okay, fine. What is this from? Where are the where did all these guys come from? I swear. Okay, 1566 allocations. Let's just leave it like that. Let's do a bunch of stuff. Oh, it's still based on the primary camera. Um, yeah, that, that, that does make sense. Okay, we did all that. 1566. So it's the same. Is it the same? Uh, 344720. Okay, it's the same leak every time. This, I don't know. I don't know. But, okay, it's not my application. Well, it's my application through some other thing that I'm not aware of yet. Okay, uh, let's put this up. What's in here? Mm -hmm. Chosen physical. Okay, uh, XR, XR idle and stuff. That basically comes down to how do I want to how do I want to do this? This is going up here. We already have. We'll wait for that. Then we go on to this section. And I need the frame state. Well, of course I do, don't I? If I should render and the predict predicted display time and Okay. So we'll modify this. Frame state equals this. Let me 
comes to XR frame state. Okay, uh, let me uh, turn on Steam VR again. Okay, that should be up and operational. There we go. We turn it on here. <clears throat> then we see what happens. Changing that, but <clears throat> otherwise, yeah, this is just the uh, XR <coughs> stuff again. Stuck at 90 frames a second, that's great. Shut it all down, stop. Right, and because it's the old ver Linux version, it actually cleanly exits. Even if it's leaving a bunch of stuff that still needs to be destroyed. Cool. Okay. Put that in. And if I don't have XR, it doesn't screw up, right? With this new layout. Okay. Beginning of session and latency sensitive okay and I'll call it there got another little thing done sweet a bunch of little things the windows are basically mostly separate items I'm re-rendering to multiple windows I mean it's mostly split first it's it's mostly detached from a particular window and that's the big thing and I reordered the uh, rendering loop and acquis image acquisition to be usable for multiple things. So all I would have to do after this point is after acquiring, like figuring out if there's any uh, windows I want to render to, then I put like here, right about here, I put in a thing that would say, okay, well, are there any off-screen shadow maps that, that need rendering right now? And then I start having to do the render, so... Well, that's it for now. Cheers.